this tutorial I'm going to show you how to update the firmware of your ADL in-flight weather device. This tutorial applies to the ADL 140, 150, 190 and 200 devices. If you own an earlier ADL device like the 110, 120 or 130, um, please have a look at the documentation because this tutorial will not apply to these devices. So to update the firmware, which is the basic operating software of the device, which is running on the device, not to confuse with the actual iPad or Android app, please power up the ADL device and like normal, either on your aircraft or connect a power lead to your car, or if you have a power connection at home, power it up at home. So in this video I'm going to use uh, the ADA Connect iOS app, but uh, please have a look at the channel. There's another video explaining how to use the Android app to do the firmware update. So the very first step is to go to the iOS settings and to make sure you are properly connected to the ADA Connect Wi-Fi. Once that's done, you can switch over to the actual ADA Connect app. It will then connect to the device and um, when we switch over to the config page and scroll down. We will see that we are connected to the actual ADI device. So in this case, it's an ADI 200 device. It will also show the current device firmware versions, which for this example is uh, version 8.50. Scrolling up. You will see the start update button and once we press it, the firmware update process will begin. Once we started the firmware update, I suggest to switch over to the download page as in the message window at the bottom of the download page, you will get current updates on the download process. The general process happens in two phases. Currently we see phase one of two, which is a little bit shorter and then the device will reboot and the next phase will complete the update. Once the ADA device reboots, you have to make sure that your iOS device is reconnecting properly to the ADA Connect Wi-Fi. If you have only one Wi-Fi in range, this will probably help automatically, but if you have multiple Wi-Fi in range, it could be that the iPad connects to another Wi-Fi and then the update process cannot continue. Therefore, if you are in doubt, just switch over to the iPad settings and make sure you are co again connected to the ADA Connect Wi-Fi after the reboot. Then we switch back to the ADA Connect Wi-Fi and now we see that the second phase of the update will begin. At the top of the screen you will also see ADA firmware updating instead of the normal indications. This phase will take a little bit longer than the first one. For this video, I accelerated the process a little bit, but you can expect about five minutes for the whole update process with phase one and phase two. Please note in uh, previous versions, this used to be quite a bit slower, more like 10 minutes, but we improved the software and now it's down to about five minutes. If you currently don't need the weather downloads from your ADL device in flight, you can also do this update in flight. You only have to be aware that you have to keep the ADA Connect app open for approximately five minutes so you will not be able to use the iPad for any other purposes during this duration. And also you have to make sure that the screensaver of the iPad is not going to kick in so the ADA Connect app stays open and operating for this duration. Finally, at the end of the second phase of the firmware update process, the device will reboot again and now it will run on the new firmware version and be ready to use immediately. Thanks a lot for watching and fly safe.